Hi everyone, I'm Cozy Ice Makeup and I'm going to teach you how to create full lips, how to fake them. Before we get started, I did the rest of my makeup off camera. I went for something a little bit natural, sort of wearable. All the makeup products that I'll be using will be 99% drugstore affordable. So please like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below. And that's just it. Let's get started. We all want fuller lips like Kylie Jenner, but we don't want to pay the price of lip fillers, so faking it is really good. It's only temporarily, so I'm going to teach you the steps. Here's my lips before. I just have lip balm on. Hmm. Lip prep is an essential. Chap lips are not cute. It acts like a primer. Well, I'll just remove it with toilet paper so I have a nice clean canvas. I always do lip prep on YouTube. Any lip balm will do at home. Well, especially the moisturizing ones. For, the, for today's lip balm, I chose an old favorite of mine. This is the EOS in coconut, coconut milk. I have the old packaging. It's very moisturizing. It smells like coconuts. And I throw it with some toilet paper so my lips are nice and hydrate. This is an optional step to highlight the Cupid bow. I'm taking my highlighter, which is a hard candy fix by Halo highlighter, and just putting some on my middle finger to highlight. I don't do this step, but I seen some like images on line. Well, this stuff is completely optional. You need to line your lips to create the illusion of fullness. Unfortunately, I don't have like a nude lip liner, so I'm using eyeliner. This is from the Beauty Runway set. This is dual ended. One is a warm brown and the other is cool. I'm using the warm brown because today's lip gloss is sort of like on the warm side. You want to start on your cupid's bow. Try your best to line your natural lip shape. You can go above the natural lip line if you like. I'm going to ignore the outside background noise. The birds are singing. After I'm done filming this video, I'm going to sharpen it. If you don't have a nude lip liner, you can just use a brown eyeliner. I think that's good. It does not have to be perfect. And then for lip gloss, plumping, well, is sort of like necessary. I'm taking the Bite Beauty Yeah Saver Plumping Lip Gloss in Sugar Buns. Unfortunately, Bite Beauty is discontinued, but any plumping lip gloss will do at home. I'm going to squeeze some on my pointer finger and then throw it around. I feel like plumping lip gloss gives the illusion of fuller lips. I'm gonna do one coat more for the sake of this video to show you guys that I can squeeze some in. This is just a mini one.
and then clean up the lip line if necessary if it looks like too jokerous like outside the lip line okay it looks good here are my lips after it looks very shiny very juicy so here are the steps lip prep with lip balm is the first step to really moisturize the lips this is an optional step applying highlighter to the cupids both the first step is to apply nude lip liner, probably one or two shades darker than the gloss. Well, I don't have like a nude lip liner, so I decided to use like a warm brown eyeliner. And then line your lips with it and then fill it in with a nude lip gloss of your choice. Plumpin' is the best. So, stay tuned for more reviews and eye looks. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you, bye!